Comedian Fu Quan Johnson, a writer for the TV series Comedy Parlor Live, has passed away along with two other unidentified victims after allegedly overdosing on fentanyl-laced cocaine. The overdose occurred in Venice, California. Comedian Kate Quigley is in critical condition, along with three others, who also took the laced cocaine. Fentanyl has caused a deadly wave throughout the nation, causing the death of thousands every year. High-profile victims of fentanyl overdoses include Prince, Mac Miller, Shock G, and Lil Peep. Johnson, 43, was blowing up in the stand-up circuit, following several successful Los Angeles shows. Quigley has appeared in the office and was known for dating Darius Rucker. Police were summoned on Friday night around midnight to a home in Venice. Johnson was allegedly pronounced dead on the scene along with two others. The identities of everyone outside of Johnson have yet to be revealed. It is unclear whether police will pursue any charges. The LAPD is aware of the deaths, however, the source of the drugs has not been confirmed. It's possible that if the other victims recover that they could give some answers to where the drugs came from. As for who owns the place where this went down, there's a few owners listed, and we do know Quigley was a resident, and perhaps still is, at what appears to be an adjacent property right next door to where the 911 call was directed to. Could be a duplex. In any case, we are told cops were summoned a little after midnight, and when they arrived, they found four people who appeared to be either deceased or close to it. Our sources say Johnson and two others were pronounced dead on the scene, while Quigley was transported to the hospital in critical condition. Unclear how she's doing now, we've tried reaching out to her team for comment but have come up short on contacts for the woman. We're told cocaine laced with fentanyl appears to be what was ingested by all. Autopsies will be done for the three bodies, which are with the L.A. coroner's office now. We're working on getting the IDs of the other two victims, who might also be comedians themselves. Our law enforcement sources also tell us this. The LAPD's homicide unit was notified about this case, but no word on whether they're getting directly involved just yet, although LAPD is investigating. It's unclear who originally supplied the coke, who bought it or under what circumstances it might have been passed around, used by the four individuals. Because of that, we are told it's hard to tell if any charges might come of this, as our sources say they don't know, for now, where the drugs came from. Still, it could spell trouble, and possibly mean Uncle Sam gets involved a la Mac Miller, whose death spurred federal charges after investigation, with indictments for the alleged dealers.